is a rare instance where we could manage him with one time lung transplantation. Call from the head is not there. Again, bilateral lung transplantation, primary pulmonary hypertension, secondary pulmonary hypertension. In fact, when we are discussing the ISHIT meeting this time, even the people there, they were really appreciating us. So, thank you. Uh, I'll be very brief. As to Suresh Rao highlighted, uh, we mentioned 15 per million. But since we have 1.1 million people, the actual numbers are quite high. And it's a very disabling disease. Over a period of time, um, the right side of the heart starts failing as it was with this boy. He very, very died. There is no future at all. Even though uh, medical treatment has a lot of important advances. The reason we thought we'd highlight this is traditionally when the heart function is so poor as it was in this boy, the approach has always been to change both hearts together. But with uh, Terminal Nardo having such a busy, successful heart transplant program, getting a heart and lung blocked is very tough. Uh, there's always other patients who uh, need a heart separately. So there are only two or three groups in the world which are treating this kind of uh, right heart failure with lung transplantation. And we felt that uh, this is the only way we are ever going to be able to get an organ for this boy. Because uh, with rare groups, sometimes they have for up to one year, and there's no way somebody with this kind of disease can sustain for a period of time. And uh, after the transplant, he very well, and as you can see, the, uh, the heart is complete covered and it's become normal. Sometimes uh, we use another trick, which is uh, if you do a heart lung block, we can take the heart of this donor and put it into somebody else. So a uh, uh, few things done to ensure that maximum number of people benefit. But uh, the, uh, even though the operative uh, part of this is difficult, once they survive the operation, their open survival is excellent. And these are young boys and girls. So they can go back to full activity. And some of them, in fact, have even take, taken part in complex sports and mountain climbing and stuff like that. So the prognosis is very good. And uh, the lung transplant in general, worldwide, is much more difficult to do than heart. If you look at the level of difficulty, lung transplant programs are perhaps 10 times more difficult to do than heart because lung, uh, most of the time the lung is injured in the accident which causes the donor to be available. Lungs are easily infected because they are open to the atmosphere and managing lungs is much more challenging and difficult. And especially patients with severe pulmonary hypertension and right heart failure, to manage a lung transplant program is, uh, is not easy. And as I said, uh, there are no centers in Asia, including in Singapore and Malaysia where lung transplants are done. So the point in highlighting this was, it's a matter of great pride that Chennai uh, has taken a lead again and is a leader in heart and lungs. Lung transplants are not done in any other city in India except Chennai. And in Chennai, I think two or three hospitals do it. So it's a matter of great pride for us that we are bring, uh, having technology here which the rest of the country does not as yet have. And uh, this is just to highlight that these are possible uh, with uh, modern advances in medicine. Thank you. So, uh, with the permission of Dr. Hai and uh, with the assembly house, if they have any questions or... Mm -hmm. Андрей 21 years old, he's from Ukraine. 
she dismissed his happy to be here in India and happy with his mom. They did, they did transplant and he's feeling very well now. So he doesn't have any issues with health and he and his surgery was done for him. И после операции у меня пропала дышка, мне я живу без кислорода, могу много ходить, как любой человек здоровый. Верёга синева пропала, розовые губы. Я не знаю, очень счастлив. Большое спасибо всем. No breathlessness now, he can walk and even run. So he's uh, feeling, he doesn't have pain in the chest like he was having before. So he is very happy. Да, я мечтаю играть в футбол. Хочу по приезду в Украину поступить на юридическое, на юридическое, получить образование и работу по специальности. Два года он не дождался, не, не смог порадоваться за меня, что не сделаем операцию. Мне очень жаль. Братьев, сестер родных у меня нет, бабушек, дедушек тоже. Unfortunately, Андрей is alone in the family. He doesn't have a brother, sisters, only cousins. And his father passed away in 2017 January. So he is saying that unfortunately he couldn't see me happy, and he couldn't be happy with me together. She was afraid to do the surgery for Andrei, and she was crying a lot and after surgery she is crying because she is happy and she wants to say thanks to Dr. Balakrishnan and his, his cardiac team for the surgery and very big thanks to the hospital for this malaria. And you should stop that.